Paul, before uh, game six, you told us that you felt the pressure was evening out in the series, and I was wondering if we can get a check of the Paul Maurice pressure o meter ahead of game seven. I think sevens are just a completely unique animal. I, I don't think it relates in terms of pressure to anything because there is no tomorrow. Um, so it's a completely different feel. I think we've been immersed in the weight of it for a week. We've, we've been through two or three games, so there's not a new experience for us in this other than it's also a game seven. I think both teams come out flat out as fast as they possibly can. I think that's going to be the manifestation of all of this. As, as much as they love interacting with you people, as often as we have been afforded the opportunity over the last, they can just drop the puck and play hockey, and that will be a nice thing for them. Obviously, Game 7 is a fresh opportunity. doesn't matter what happened in the past. You win tonight, all's forgotten. Um, but I'm just curious how you don't let doubt creep in after what happened in the last three games. Like, if you could share your process for dealing with that. Go ahead. Yeah, I think it's, it's just you treat it as one game. Um, you know, nothing in the past matters now. It, it, all that matters is, is tonight, and we have uh, an opportunity to do something special. So that's, that's our whole mindset, our whole focus, and um, that's all that matters. Ryan, I know there was like a meeting right after the game on, on, on Friday, which is how has Coach Maurice been with you guys, I guess, since then kind of maybe helping you get back on point and also mentally maybe also helping you get back on point? Yeah, he, he's, he's been great, um, you know, ever since the second he's gotten here. It's, it's, it's been the hard way, and, and we've earned everything we've, we've, um, we've gotten up to this point. Um, you know, so for us, it's, you know, f I mean, it's pretty cliche, but, you know, if, if we would have told everybody in the locker room at the start of the year we would be playing the last game of the season, Game 7, Stanley Cup Finals, I think we all would have uh, jumped at that opportunity. So he, he's, he's done a, a phenomenal job keeping us dialed in and, and making sure we're not too high and low, so we're... Um, we're excited for the challenge. Uh, I'm sure he's going to have one heck of a speech tonight, but um, yeah, I think it, it just comes down to to each player um, looking at themselves, and, and it's it doesn't take much to get up for a game like this. So um, everyone knows what they need to do tonight. It's uh, you know it's just a matter of doing it. So um, yeah, not not much needs to be said. X is the nose part. You're as dialed as you're going to be on that. We won't, we won't, we'll go through it, the basics of it. And that is to set a tone and a mood that allows them to play with a certain amount of freedom in that game, that, that you um, encourage that in the style that we play, in the hockey that we play. That the, it's not so much you're, you're, you're encouraging the hero mentality because I don't really think one guy trying to go coast to coast on our group helps us very much but certainly embracing the opportunity to make the hard, great plays. Yeah, obviously this group, the core group's been through a lot these last several years, but obviously the last two years in particular, these deep runs. Just how much is all that collective experience, do you think, going to maybe help in a game like this? Yeah, I think it's important. Um, you know, we're, we're a really close group, and we've been through a lot together. Um, it's been a, a long year, but, um, you know, I think our, our closeness and, um, you know, how, how well we – we mesh together is really going to help us in this situation. You know, every year there's there's so much turnover. Um, you know, our situation is not any different. I, I think no matter what position you are, you want to um, maximize the opportunities you have with this group because it's never going to be the same. Um, this group's no different. Um, you know, obviously there's there's something bigger and more important on the line. Um, but no matter what position, whether it's whether it's last game of the season or or middle of the playoffs or or like it is now end of the playoffs, you know, there's 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 going to be a lot of turnover. That's just the nature of the business. Whether we we win or lose, today's the the last day of our season. So um, you know, it's it's definitely something bittersweet. You, you know, you we've been enjoying every moment, but you know, even more so now being. Getting to the end of the road, um, you know, you, you enjoy every second you get with the guys. Uh, the core group has played, I think, 210 games almost uh, over the last two years together. Barkov, Reinhardt, Bob, uh, Ekblad, you know, the list goes on. Just how important are they to this, this franchise as a whole? They are the fabric. They are the core and they are the identity of it. Their personalities are the room. Uh, the distance this franchise has covered over three or four years is based on 
the distance their games have covered, the, the leadership that they have shown and then grown into, they are the reason that we're here. And I think they're going to be great tonight.